everyone welcome back to my channel i'm so so happy to have you back today for a new reading i hope that all of you are doing amazing today and having a wonderful day so for today's pick a card reading we have good news for you guys from the universe what are some good and positive news that the universe would like to deliver to you guys right now and we have three piles to choose from as always we have pile number one with ego and mastery Pile number two with Ladybug and Good Luck. And pile number three with Tiger and Fire. Please feel free to choose any pile that you feel most drawn to. And then you can skip to the timestamps, which are in the description box. And I will see you guys at your reading. Hello, my beautiful pile number one. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading for today about your good news coming from the universe. So pile number one, today for your card, you guys felt drawn to the ego with mastery. And you also felt drawn to the yellow fish here. Okay, so let's read your card first and then we we'll get into your good news and your message. I'm super excited to see. So on your card, uh, your affirmation, it says, you are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. Ooh, I love this energy, palm number one. It seems like you guys right now, I'm sort of picking up the word rapid. Something is rapidly progressing or something is rapidly changing. There is this energy of right now, I feel like you're on a journey of like, it feels like you're really focused towards your goal and that's where you're headed right now and nothing can get you out of like that focus or that path so i do feel like the energy for this pile it's like how you will know this is your pile right now you feel really focused you have a vision you have a clear vision of what you want where you want to go that's where you're headed you don't even think about anything else or uh, nothing else really crosses your mind it, it feels like it feels like you're really laser focused in the moment towards something that is the energy that i'm channeling for this pile so let's see some of your oracle cards and we'll perhaps get a feel of what these good news will be for you and then we'll get your tarot cards which is how we'll get i feel most of your message from today so let's see your oracle cards so, oh wow you have opportunity new job opportunities change of workplace or business trip change is coming just in time oh that is wonderful and this is really specific as well okay so i feel like your good news is that something about your job will change for the better i feel like that is the general idea that i'm seeing for you right away you also have many choices. Opportunities abound when you're in a dilemma. All roads lead to Rome. Interesting, wait. Look at all your options. All roads lead to Rome. I don't, maybe some of you are going to Italy. I don't know, maybe. Or I don't know if this is like maybe meant to say home, but it's like a misspelling. I'm not really sure, but maybe some of you might be going to Italy, okay? Yeah, there was something about business trip and then there is like, yeah, opportunities abound when you are in a dilemma. All roads lead to, I feel like this can either be like home or maybe some of you are going to Italy, okay? Maybe you are from Italy, I'm not sure. Maybe you are from Rome, right? Look at all of your options. I feel there are many options coming in for your job. That's what I'm feeling because you have opportunity twice. Opportunity and opportunities. It feels like... The good news for you, Paul, everyone, is that expect a lot of things in your job to change for the better, uh, and you will even get to choose what you want to do. So it feels like you're getting, like, you're being bombarded with so many great opportunities in regards to your job. It's like, what do you choose? And the universe is saying it will all lead to the same outcome. It will all lead to a great outcome. So it's like you can't even choose you know you can't even make the wrong decision because all opportunities will be so great and they will all lead you to a good place is what i'm getting let's get a few more cards here for you we have determination yeah you're definitely reaching some kind of goal in terms of your career i feel like that is your good news like the universe is saying next expect to reach a goal in your career 
Wow, oh my god, look at this opportunity with the golden ticket. Yeah, this definitely is talking about like some kind of great opportunity in regards to your job that will help you reach a goal it will help you like finally achieve something um and you guys also have the shapeshifter interesting yeah shapeshifter you know is that energy of with this card when this card comes up to me it's that energy of like we can always change who we are and we're never bound to anything really even what we desire and what we feel like it, it is meant for for us we can change that as well, right? If at any point on our journey, we decide that we want to be somebody completely different, we can. We can shapeshift it if, into anything. So maybe in regards to your job, this is talking like in regards to your job. If you guys don't feel like you you fit the role that you're playing in right now in regards to your job, then this is like a reminder from the universe that you can always change. You can always shapeshift. You're never tied down to something. You're never locked into something for life um you can change your mind at any point in your life right we have free will on the earth so i don't know if currently your job is not making you happy and you feel like you you could fit in a better role somewhere else um the universe is saying yeah go for it but you know what I, I feel like also this message is more so right because these are good news it's more so like delivering to you that this change is coming your way and that you are currently headed towards there and i want to say that you are headed there because you're so focused towards this and i feel like in the beginning i was picking up this uh, this energy of the pile like you're really focused you have a clear vision of where you want to go and that is your path that is where you're headed right now um this is that energy of the shapeshifter and this is how we shapeshift we we're basically only aware of the end goal and we're just headed there laser focused without giving notice to what is happening around us and i feel like for you polymer one you're definitely really focused towards perhaps achieving something in your career or changing your career or creating right like a specific environment in regards to your career uh, and that's where you're headed. That's what the universe is saying. That is your good news for today. That upcoming next, you can expect more opportunities in your job. You can expect to change your job successfully. Um, if some of you are headed somewhere traveling, because I'm picking up really heavy energies for this pile, like there is travel here in your cards. I'm seeing like we have business trip, um, the eagle energy, you know, with the flying. It's it's also always giving me. We had Rome there. So if some of you are maybe like traveling somewhere, you want to move somewhere for a job, um, you maybe have plans to do so. Maybe you're waiting on a visa or something like that. Like I'm getting these kinds of energy that this is where your good news will be like in terms of your job in terms of your career achieving a goal receiving that opportunity that finally allows you right to achieve this goal um right now what you need to hear in terms of like advice because i'm getting something from the cards is to just like keep focusing on what is your big vision and what is your end goal and don't give meaning to the things that are happening around you that are maybe showing you something else right because you are currently changing your shape shifting so it's like inside in your soul you feel different but who you are in the 3d is totally different right and you're in the process of changing that as well and eventually what you're feeling will also reflect in your life you will become that person eventually and i feel like this is where you're headed and it's happening really fast really soon because you have the ego it doesn't feel like you're in the beginning this feels like it's really right around the corner for you polymer one it, it's definitely quick because it's good news and you know when, when we're looking into messages like this i'm not looking into good news that will happen for you six months later i'm looking into good news that you want to see and hear receive right now so I feel like this is happening really soon for you guys. Maybe expect it this month. I feel like you're already picking up on the energy or maybe you have some plans, but this is, it feels like you're maybe even aware of this and that it's coming its way. So let's get some tarot cards to further clarify. What are your good news from the universe? And maybe some advice, some guidance for you guys. What could this be related to? Seven of Pentacles. Oh, wow. So you have been waiting on this seven of pentacles guys this hasn't it has been a process i want to say this opportunity that will show up in your life it has been a process and it hasn't been the i don't want to say that it hasn't been like the easiest thing in the world because it really depends on a person to person 
and how they take the situation but it can be something like you really had to be patient for this okay maybe it has been you have been working up towards this for the past couple of years for this opportunity it's it's more so giving me energy like you have been preparing yourself for this okay so seven of pentacles again is like that energy of like we are working on our garden patiently and just allowing it to grow and this is like i feel your energy i feel maybe you've spent the past couple of years just working on yourself and you know preparing yourself for this moment because if you're not prepared for the opportunity nothing will happen it will just be a missed opportunity and nothing will come out of it but if you're prepared and you're met the, with with the opportunity that is when success is created and that's when you successfully transition so in terms for you i do feel like you're ready for this as well like you're ready to receive it i feel like you have been patient for a long time not patient in the sense of you're just sitting and waiting for this to show up in your life but you have been like working on yourself just knowing that if you keep working on yourself and if you keep developing yourself eventually you will be met with the right opportunity at the right time and that is when you're successful strike and i feel like this is the kind of thing i'm picking up for you it's like your good news is that finally you will be able to put all of your knowledge to use that will create a lot of like success for you so it's like you're getting the opportunity and you're prepared for it and again when these two come into combination that is when we create success so this i'm seeing you have been really determined right really focused on your entire journey we have the eight of cups interesting because you had a message here to let go of the past and soar and the eight of cups is the card of leaving the past behind we also have the princess of cups you have the four of cups prince of swords eight of swords and your last card two of swords okay yeah so i feel right now what you guys are trying to escape is like your past like you you just want to like leave it behind and maybe who you were before or your circumstances before it does because you know with this person is like they're trying to escape the sea they're climbing up they're trying to escape so it feels like you're trying to sort of like either like escape your old life or you're trying to maybe escape this old job or just whatever it does feel like there's this energy of like you want to leave something behind you want to let it go and just focus towards something that will actually bring you happiness in your life um and a lot of it feels very unknown i feel for you like there is this energy uh, this journey does feel a bit unknown and not everything is really clear although you, i feel that you guys are like you know with each step that you're taking you're you're still learning and you still have a long way to to learn i feel like that's also what the universe is saying it's like even though you're really great already i feel like you still have a long way to learn so always remember that like never stop learning we can always expand our knowledge and everything so the universe is just saying to you guys that you will be able to do it like you will be able if some if like there's a situation right now in your life where you feel like you know you're not happy with it um it is your life but maybe you're not happy with it maybe you're not happy with your job you feel exhausted every day or just life in general maybe it just feels exhausting for you know that you're in the process of escaping this right now and i feel like a lot of you are noticing this okay and you're feeling it so this reading is sort of like a confirmation for you but i want to say like that feeling of like unfulfilled unfulfillment or like just not feeling happy in regards to your life and your job specifically i feel like it, that's what's changing and that's the good news for you i definitely feel like that is sort of going away for for you and the universe wants to tell you right now to trust your feelings about this because i do feel like you're picking up on this energetically and this kind of change like you're feeling it in your heart you're feeling the direction where you're feeling where you're feeling being called to go to and sometimes doubts will arise okay sometimes you know your past will try to pull you back that is represented by the eight of swords how sometimes we just get stuck in our own limiting beliefs and um the life that we had we have created up until now right 
but we the universe is saying you just have to look past that like you have to sort of see through time and just see yourself being there being great and trust the feeling that is guiding you towards there because right now there is this message of you know we have both of these person's eyes are blind they're blindsided right they're um they're covered they're blinded sorry so this is saying how you sort of just right now i feel like the universe is guiding you to move through life without seeing anything because what we're seeing is totally different from what we feel right and if we give if we acknowledge what we see that's when we start to doubt um because it's, it's you know that type of, type of energy because i feel like your power maybe has to do with like changing your job or some kind of job transition it's like you have to wake up every day and go to this job that you don't like but in your mind you have like a totally different job and vision for yourself so like the example that i'm giving here is like when you go and do this job that you don't like unsee it right just pretend like it's not even happening because and trust what you feel that feeling that you're meant for something more and that there is something better coming in your life so, because this is the transitional phase right this is the transitional phase where you have changed inside and as we know change comes from inside so the transitional period is like you have changed yourself inside and now the world is just catching up on uh, catching up onto what you're feeling so it is there is like this buffer time that you sort of just have to unsee whatever is happening and just feel what you feel inside feel the you know that feeling of like you already have this new job that feels fulfilling for you right so uh i hope that, that that's making sense because again i feel like the good news for you is like the universe is saying your job will change i feel like it mainly has to do with your job um and your life in general your life path i feel like the universe is saying there will be great change here if some of you are happy with your job but you want to just make more progress or like achieve a specific goal then for you this is going to show up in the way of like an opportunity that will help you achieve that goal maybe for some of you it's both uh but i do feel like that is your good news for today from the universe pile number one i hope that this reading resonated for you guys thank you so much for watching and i hope to see you in my next video Bye bye. Oh, beautiful pile number two. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be a reading for today about your good news coming from the universe. So, pile number two for your card today, you guys feel drawn to the ladybug with good luck. And you also have the, um, maybe this is like a goldfish or something. Yeah, this is the fish that you feel drawn to today. Okay, so let's read your message here first, palm number two, and then, then we'll get into your cards. Um, so let's see, what are your good news? All right, so on your card, it says you are a bright energy. Let worry go and be happy here and now. Feel good about being a loving and colorful you. You bless the world with your color and good luck. Very, very nice message, right? I feel like the universe, first of all, here is reminding you that you're such a bright and positive person and don't let anything take that feeling away from you right i'm, I'm feeling like maybe you need to hear this today polymer too you need to hear that you're great that you're unique you are capable you're creative right you are an abundance Maybe this you need this message today, right? To just uplift you in any kind of sense. So I feel like right away the universe is saying you're just a person who naturally attracts good things, blessings, good luck, and embrace that. Okay, embrace that feeling is what I'm getting for you right away. Believe that, you know, good things can happen to you. I feel like you need to hear this maybe. And also like for me, the ladybug is always a sign that some good people will start to come into your life. So maybe this is also a part of your good news that you guys will attract a really good community of people. Like I'm seeing, yeah, I'm actually feeling that for this, but like there is either like good people that will come into your life as like friends or maybe people who will help you, maybe coworkers, a community of people. I'm seeing that like, I'm picking that up in your energy. Let's see your oracle cards though. Okay, we have endings. The cycle is over. It's time for you to make a change, rebirth. It's time to say goodbye. 
wow you know i feel like this could be really great news for a lot of you because i feel that you're changing there is a rebirth that's going to take place in your life and a rebirth a rebirth is always an amazing sign and i feel like it's always great news because it's indicating you know the old you is going away and there is like this new more abundant more blessed version of you that's ready to emerge oh and we have growth so yeah the the rebirth is always about growth and we're gonna go through many rebirths in our life it happens all the time it can happen every month it can happen you know every year it depends on the person but the rebirths happen throughout our life all the freaking time because they're meant i feel like rebirths are just like a, a a stage of growth right when we go through a rebirth it's indicating the old version of us is going away and a new more elevated version of us is coming to take its form so i do feel like right now your good news is that you will grow you will elevate you will reach a higher level in terms of your consciousness your wisdom yourself you have creativity maybe there is going to be growth in terms of your creativity pal number oh and the one wow this pal is so special and so unique pal number two okay i'm feeling in terms of like good news for this pile i see like if you have been feeling a bit creatively stuck or maybe if you've been having like a creative block i feel like there is going to be a new version of you that will emerge within you that suddenly has like so many great ideas and suddenly can come up with so many creative solutions or again if you're an artist i feel like you in terms of like your creativity your imagination your process of creation it's gonna level up it's gonna grow it's your skills might improve it's something like, like i don't know if you're a painter uh, you know it feels like your painting will become better you will get greater ideas you will become a better artist or something like that and you know create creativity doesn't always apply to artists because life is creation itself so creativity is applied to everything and i just feel like in terms of your life you guys will grow and that is your good news that you will grow and you will think of better ideas you will think of better solutions your consciousness will improve you have the one here so you guys are chosen for something i feel like this pal has that energy of like you were the chosen one you were the one uh perhaps you might um achieve a lot more than uh, sort of like your family has done in your past or your community i'm getting like that energy of like you guys are the chosen one you're very special you you have this very unique talent of creativity and being creative and all of us have it really but some people just limit themselves to a certain point but i feel like for you it's something that that always has been just so natural throughout your entire life so use this use this creativity i feel like it's also what the universe is saying because you were the one you're you're meant to to do something it's like you're the chosen one you're the one who should do this let's get your tarot cards to see more details here about your good news well i mean i feel like your good news is like you know that that old version of you is going away right and you're just ready to welcome in this unique bright abundant version of you who you, who you know is not afraid to express themselves is not afraid to put themselves out, out there to share their art their creativity i do feel like the universe is speaking to you right now like be more creative wow look at this we have the sun on the bottom of the deck so definitely this is really bright and positive energy i also want to say like connect to your childhood like i i feel like maybe you've always been such a creative person pal number two like ever since your childhood so maybe doing some things like watching movies that you really liked as a child or playing games that you really liked as a child maybe wearing certain colors that you really liked i feel like this can really like help you to connect with that inner child energy because it's really important like it's the ha developing and connecting our energy to our child self it's really important because children think in such creative ways right and as we grow older we start to sort of think that in the real world we need to use a lot of logic but that's 
how we end up getting stuck in everything. That's how we end up getting afraid to do everything. Whereas a child is so free spirited, is so young, it's so creative. It doesn't know any limitations. So I feel like the universe is saying to you right now, also like connect with your inner child and think like a child for a little bit, right? Connect with that energy because it can help you create on such like elevated ways right I, that's kind of what i'm feeling we have the justice so there is going to be fairness i feel like in terms of your good news as well there's going to be fairness you have the two of pentacles the hangman the lovers oh wow okay and we have yeah the ten of swords so the ten of swords and the endings this goes really well together i feel like an old version of you is ready to go, Paul number two, and I feel like you're ready for a rebirth. You're ready for the new stage of your life. I do see that some of you have been have maybe felt like kind of stuck in this past stage of your life um, that is ready to go. So this energy of like stagnation or like sitting and waiting is coming to an end for this, Paul, I feel, and maybe that's also your good news. Um, but with the hangman again this is i always say this when the hangman comes up because i feel like it's important to note that with the hangman it's never like life that's trying to keep you stuck or not let you progress it's always your perspective and that's why you also have the message again of like connect with your inner child inner child because you can help you think in such creative ways that maybe the adult mind is just so like um trained to think logically that it ends up keeping ourselves stuck right so with the hand it's always about the change of perspective so perhaps the universe is saying right now think more like a child play like a child create like a child right don't have you don't have to make everything so perfect or you don't have to everything doesn't have to be like i don't know so trendy or so thought out I do feel like sort of implementing a childlike spirit in your situation can really help you sort of gain your creative spark back or like what made you happy as a child? Why did you even start to have this dream in the first place? And look in those kinds of directions because I feel like it can help you align towards, you know, towards the path that you were always going on. But I feel like somewhere along the way, this pile started to think too logically and that sort of put them like, at a bit of a halt because you started to think too logically in, about it and maybe you couldn't make a decision or something like that but i feel like here the universe is saying that you know the good news is that old old version of you is basically going away and a new and elevated version of you is ready to come to life is ready to start living is ready to start creating um with the lovers it is saying that you guys are in alignment to becoming this version right and we have the one so i do feel like you really have special energy pile number three a uh, pile number two i'm so sorry you have really special energy especially like i feel like your biggest uniqueness is creativity and your creative power and the universe wants you to put this to good use make use out of it don't question every single thing that you do because it's creation there are no rules in creation um maybe there are some principles that can help us right but i mean like recently i've been watching so many videos on in, like of people who are artists or who are producers and they write music and you know creativity is is their job is the biggest part of their life so and they all say how there isn't really a process to it there isn't a process to creativity and as long as it, it, they said something really specific and, and all of them said this like in a different way, but they all said like the people who do like produce creativity in that like methodical type of way, is just a machine. It's, it's nothing innovative, it's nothing creative, right? It's just for maybe for the money or it's doing well right now. And the people who really make unique things, who really make great things, it just happens randomly. It doesn't have a process. It doesn't, they don't also know what they're doing. They're just going with the flow, right? So creativity is something that just needs freedom. It needs time and learning how to express that is also part of the journey I feel for you. So pile number two, I feel like you're gonna experience major growth in terms of your creativity here, the way that you create, 
uh, with the justice, there is definitely more fairness coming in your life, more balance. Um, and I feel like you, you will be finally able to make a decision that will really like push you forward on your journey. It will help you grow a lot and just show your spark, show your uniqueness, pile number two. So I feel like that's what I have for your reading today. I hope that this resonated with you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye. Hello my beautiful pile number three. If you guys chose this pile, then this is going to be your reading for today about your good news coming from the universe. So pile number three for your card today, you guys feel drawn to the tiger spirit with fire. And you also have the blue fish for today. Okay, so let's read your message first, pile number three, and then we'll get into your cards. Let's see, what are your good news? So on your card here, it says, I choose to be unstoppable. My passion is my power. I am bold, I am brave. Mighty forces come to my aid. Okay, beautiful energy with the tiger and the fire. I feel like with this pile, you have this very like, brave and bold energy you guys like you you have that energy of like i am unstoppable this is me i am bold i am brave and you know embrace that i feel like you it almost feels like you're you're hungry for something or it's like um you're just so determined or passionate towards something that it's like nothing can stop you now i feel like that's what the universe is saying like nothing can stop you now you guys have this spirit and just keep going, keep going right now. I feel like you're headed towards somewhere great. Let's see your cards though. What are your good news, pal number three? Okay, you have direction. Do not deviate from your path. Attract a mentor if necessary. Plan where you want to be. Interesting. So the universe is saying don't change your direction right now. Stay on the course and maybe even if you feel a little bit lost, maybe even get a mentor if you need to. Maybe get a teacher, maybe learn more. Maybe your good news is that you're on the right path. Yeah, you have trust. Wow. Okay. The creator. Wow. Okay. This energy has been coming up a lot lately in my reading, like creative energy. Maybe a lot of you are creatives. Do you want to be artist? And oh, and purpose. So yeah, very clear message. You know, I feel your good news, pile number three, is that your purpose is to be a creator. And maybe this is what you needed to hear today. Maybe you doubted yourself, like, oh my god, am I on the right path? Am I meant to be a creative? Am I meant to be a creator? You know, is this my path? Should I follow this path? Should I be following this path? Because maybe you 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 feel like you you need help. I feel like that is it. Maybe you don't even feel lost. Like you just, uh, you maybe just need help in the moment. And that's why this reading is showing up just to let you know, like if you feel like you need guidance or help, don't be afraid to seek a mentor or a teacher in terms of this that maybe can give you advice or can help you like improve your skills in some kind of way. Like maybe there's a creative skill that you guys want to learn um, or just any skill, you know, in general, like seek a teacher seek a mentor who can give you advice who can help you in this because i feel like that's all you need really like you you have the spirit you have the talent and you are on the right path this is your purpose if you guys were uh, questioning whether you're going to be able to make it in this industry or make it in this field or you know make this your your priority your main thing i feel like your good news is that yes that's it you are on the right path i feel like Maybe some of you felt confused whether you're on the right path, whether you're doing the right thing. It's like, maybe you feel so brave and so bold and you're like, I really want to do this, but is this really for me, right? And I feel like the universe is showing up to let you know you guys have stepped into your purpose. You've tapped into your purpose and stay on this course. Trust that this is, you know, where your heart is. Trust that your power lies in creation, in in creative energy and everything is life and everything in life is creation this can also be just talking about creating your dream life right if you're not into the arts or if you're not such a creative person but life is creation itself so in general forms it is talking that you guys are the creator whether it's of your art uh, or of your life you are the creator and you are in move you're moving in the right direction 
But if you feel like you need help, if you feel like you need a bit more of a push, always feel free again to, to contact like a teacher or a mentor who can help you along the path. Because I feel like that's all you need. It, it does feel like you just need somebody to maybe push you at times, to remind you that you're on the right path, to remind you to trust yourself, to, to you know, just, it, it, it's, you know, how, um, I feel like you guys are doing really well, but sometimes you just need somebody to, you know, just, just give you a little tap on the shoulder or to just like push you a little bit more, um, to be there for you. Just if at any times you're having doubts and you just, cause that's all you need. Like, I feel like your spirit is so like bold and so powerful that you, you don't need convincing. You don't need me to sit here and talk to you. Like you're great. You're amazing. It's like, yeah, I already know that. Right. And at times you just need just, you know, cause we're humans and we all can sometimes have these kinds of thoughts. And I feel like all you need is just somebody to help push you. That's all you need because you're, you're already on the path. Like you don't need anybody to come in and tell you where to go or what you do. I feel like you've already tapped into your purpose. Right now it's just about like trusting, moving in this direction, palm number three. So I feel like that is your good news is that you found your purpose, you found your path. You are a creator, you have creative energy, but all you need is maybe like a mentor or a teacher who can help out, bring your skills out of you faster, or just like be there to give you some advice and guidance at times. Let's see your tarot cards, pile number three. What are your good news for pile number three spirit? What, is, what are the good news for pile three? Ten of Swords, okay. So yeah, this is saying like, you have, I feel like this Pa has recently just said goodbye to like the old version of themselves who was very limiting. And maybe that's why this fire spirit is being brought up into you because usually after we go through that like ego death is when we feel the most confident, is when we feel the most powerful, like we feel unstoppable. But you know, as the days goes by and like the first couple of days, it feels really amazing, right? But as the day goes by with the devil here showing up, there might be some temptation, right? There might be like that energy that's trying to pull you back. So this is where you need that mentor. This is where you need that guide or, you know, this can be just somebody that you also like enjoy watching. It can be like a coach uh, that you enjoy to watch maybe on YouTube, right? But just like be mindful of like, I would suggest like just stick to one person or two people because if we try to listen to so many different opinions on one thing, we just end up getting lost and confused. So it's like, you need to follow right a direction in terms of this. But I feel like, you know, maybe the temptation will arise and maybe some doubtful thoughts will arise for you. So you just need somebody to like, keep you in check. Like, you know, you, you just hear their words and you're like, okay, I'm back. I'm back to my, you know, high, higher self, to my bold and brave self you have the knight here seven of cups ace of pentacles oh wow <gasps> the wheel of fortune oh i love this guys oh my god i'm i'm getting this energy of like you know i feel like with the devil it can also be showing up in, in your cards as like materialistic things because i feel like you right now you dream about having a lot of um maybe wealth abundance success in your work uh maybe even fame for some of you you maybe dream of luxury things you dream of experiencing like lu luxurious things i feel like this is maybe where your desires lie right now like i feel like what you're trying to manifest right now has to do with a lot of materialistic things and again there's nothing completely wrong with that i just feel like this is where your focus is right now this is what you're dreaming about and the universe is saying it's it's like at the touch of your fingertips with the ace of pentacles like it's being offered to you right now you have the potential to live this life right now this is the the moment where we set direction on the right path is now it's tangible to us right when you when you set yourself in the right direction all you have to do is just keep moving forward in that direction and 
because you right it's just imagine like you're going on a walk towards this specific cafe and let's say that that cafe are all of these materialistic dreams that you're dreaming of right so you're going towards this cafe and all you need to do is just go there right now that is all because it's like imagine it, it being like a straight walk but if you go on that straight walk and then you doubt yourself and you take a few steps back and then you okay i feel great again today then you move forward a little bit more but then you start to doubt yourself and you go left but then you go back you know then that's when things start to maybe take more time or to start to get a bit confusing but if you just keep your focus right and this is why you need maybe this mentor or this coach to remind you every day that you are in the right direction you're moving in the right path because the more like quicker you move in this straight line the easier it will be for you to reach that because the wheel of fortune your life is going to change pole number three i feel like that's what the universe is saying like your life is going to change it's gonna feel overnight it's gonna happen so quickly because you're in such alignment with this like your spirit is so aligned with the fire spirit you're so aligned with this that you know even those moments of doubt are it feels like they will just last seconds that is how aligned you are that is how powerful you have become like even doubt can get in your way anymore really like remind yourself of this like nothing can get in your way because i feel like you're such in alignment with this with your purpose and with everything and um with the creator like i feel like this is more so also talking about like creating your desires into reality because as i mentioned life is also creation so i feel like you have the power to create these things in your life and again your good news today is that you're on the right path towards creating all of these material desires in your life or it could be also emotional it can be happiness it can be love it can be fulfillment but i feel with the devil uh it is kind of giving me more energy like maybe you're drawn towards more like specific like I don't know like a house or um, a certain amount of money or a certain kind of job or I, I feel like maybe this is where your focus is mostly right now but it can be also you know you're wishing for happiness you're wishing for for health right all of those things but uh, I, I do feel like this is going to happen quite quickly like you're not I'm not seeing like um again it depends on you and how like um how less you doubt yourself right how less you take those steps back that i was mentioning and you turn left and right just think of it like the more you walk in the straight line the faster you're going to get there and every single time you maybe doubt yourself think of this maybe use this reading as a mentor or as a guide to right just remind you like every single time you start to doubt yourself just say no the less i doubt the faster i move keep going forward right that is the kind of attitude we should have when it comes to pursuing this path so I feel polymer three, uh, polymer three, that's what I have for your reading today. I hope that this resonated for you guys. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye bye.